Thank you, Dextrio, for sponsoring this video. So I made a video uh, on these guys, the Air AR Glass, a few months ago, but now Xreal has released the Xreal Beam, which has capabilities of the Air, so like the next level. So I flew out to the Bay Area, Santa Clara specifically, take a look at some stuff that I really wanted to see, as well as something that was just an eyesore, to get some hands-on with this. Well, Xreal wasn't lying when they say this makes the Air feel like a brand new product. And when you want some like AR action for 488 bucks total for both and not wear giant goggles, I got you. But before I tell you about all these things this can do, let's do my favorite thing that I love doing. Giveaway time. Thank you for being awesome human beings. Give you a chance to win $500. So all you gotta do, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you would do with your Air Plus Beam combo. Tell me a dad joke, tell me a story. Just leave your social handle in the comments so I know how to contact you if you win. Give the video a thumbs up, we'd appreciate it. You can run for 10 days, open to anyone in the world. All the information you need will be down below. So the Beam is a companion device to the Air glasses. So before the Beam, you need to connect your phone with the cable. But now you can do everything wirelessly here. Uh, plus the Beam gives you even more precision and control for things like head tracking. Think of this almost like the brains of the glasses you are wearing. And at the most basic level, the Beam gives you a much easier way to connect to your content. And all of this for just about a hundred bucks. And on the device, there are a few buttons for controlling your content. Uh, inside, you've got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, lets you connect to nearly anything wirelessly. Uh, if you're on Apple device, you can connect over AirPlay. If you're on Android or Windows, you connect via Miracast. But because it's wireless, it's just a lot easier and a much more seamless experience to view your content. So even though wireless is preferred, you can still connect via HDMI. So you hook up your Xbox, your PS5, your Switch, uh, your Steam Deck, all those things can work awesomely. Actually, when I was at the exhibit, I got a chance to play some Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, I got a chance to play some Street Fighter on a Steam Deck. You can connect anything that you want. And if that's not enough, also there's built-in media app. If you can watch your content anywhere you are without having to worry about anything being connected via HDMI or wireless. Probably the most important update is with depth of field. There's an update to the 3DOF motion tracking. Uh, this fixes sort of the digital screen in 3D space, makes your experience just like more immersive. Plus you can move your head and the screen is going to stay locked in place. Like watching a TV on a wall, you move your head, the screen stays where it's at. And if that wasn't enough, there's also a new side view function where you can minimize your content into the corner of the screen so you can see the real world around you without missing your content. If you didn't watch my previous video about the Air AR glasses, you should go back and watch it, but here's the recap for you. Essentially, it gives you a 201 inch screen in front of you, but these are AR, meaning you can still see the world around you while watching. And in combination with the beam, you get a really immersive experience. To make this possible, there's a ton of tech obviously built in. So that's with the displays. I think that's where a lot of the tech starts. Uh, inside are two micro OLED 1080p displays. Uh, sort of lets you have a really clear and bright display, actually up to 400 nits. And they have pretty high refresh rate too, up to 90 hertz. And all of this is giving a 46 degree field of view, uh, which looks absolutely incredible. And they do it while looking like regular glasses, not huge goggles on your head. Well, these are meant to be AR. If you want sort of a darker, more immersive option, uh, they come with a cover to cover the front here and that sort of block out the world around you. They are light and they work exactly as advertised. And the big thing I'm talking about here is watching content, playing games. There's a big productivity angle here as well. Uh, when we had a chance to take a look at these glasses in Santa Clara, uh, we saw monitors being projected, you know, up to three huge monitors, one almost curved display in front of your eyes. So it's fun for games, but also really cool for productivity. The fact that you could have all these monitors set up, whether you were on a Mac or a PC, or if you're using Samsung's DeX, uh, you can take all of your content with you. And that content is an Excel spreadsheet or you're editing a video, whatever it might be. The use cases for these are really incredible. I think we're at the precipice uh, of what augmented reality is going to be. Uh, and Xreal positioned themselves really squarely uh, in the middle of that. The name Xreal might not sound familiar, but the name Nreal might. So I'm here with PJ, uh, co-founder of Xreal, but I guess it didn't start off as co-founding Xreal. You started off Nreal. That's, that's right. What's going on? 
Yeah, so um, we had to change our name uh, because as the company grew globally, uh, we needed a mark that yeah. was more globally protected. Um, you know, a case in point, um, when we launched the x -Real Beam on the 25th, mm -hmm. we let customers enter their email addresses uh, so that they could be notified yeah. uh, when the pre-order started. And then we received emails from more than 80 countries. And even I was surprised, yeah. you know, how big of a fan base we had in terms of geographic, you know, uh, footprints. Yeah. Um, so, you know, when we started the Unreal mark was better protected in some areas, you know, than others. So that's what really triggered this whole thing. I mean, I guess that makes sense. So I had the chance to play with the Air for a while. Actually, I've got a pair in my bag. Oh, uh, Image is just one thing, but audio, I think it's just as important. Uh, and the arms of the glasses are actually speakers that fire into your ears. And for the size, they deliver a pretty good audio experience. So pair all of this with the new Beam, I think you're getting one of the most immersive experiences available right now. And that is incredibly impressive. And I think over the next six months, you are going to hear AR, VR, mixed reality, obviously are going to be the buzzwords du jour. And there'll be a lot of products coming out that offer the ability to do that. But you're getting here with the X-Real Air plus the Beam for under $500 is incredibly compelling. This is a product that is immersive, incredible, most importantly, is available. Uh, if you wanna check it out for yourself or just learn more, I'll put a link to it down below.